In this video, I'll be going over the strand of physical science. First, I'll give you an overview and a description, and then at the end, I want to show you an activity that's really fun for kids and maybe even adults. So watch till the end, and then you'll be able to learn a cool activity that goes with the strand of physical science. Physical sciences is about non-living objects and materials. So in this strand, children should be able to actively explore these non-living objects and materials in their everyday environment. So let's look at the three physical science foundations. The first one is the characteristics and physical properties of non-living objects and materials. So through this, children can use their senses to examine and observe properties of objects, such as the size, texture, weight, and flexibility. And then they can describe this to the teacher and then also be able to sort and classify these materials. One common solid object that children play with are blocks. So they can describe the texture of it, how it feels, maybe it has the smooth sides, and then they can tell you the colors, they can sort them by colors. They can build the blocks on top of one another and realize that they have to put the smaller blocks on top of the bigger blocks for stability, and then be able to just compare different types of blocks. Children should also understand the properties of liquid and how that compares to a solid. And they can describe how it feels to you. Maybe it's cold or maybe it's warm, depending on the liquid, in that there really is no shape to the liquid, that it has to be in a container. So contrasting and um, observing both solids and liquids are important in this strand. The second physical science foundation is the exploration and description of possible changes of objects and materials. One fun activity for children is to be able to mix different colors. So using paints and combining different colors, you can get new colors. So for example, by mixing red and blue, you get purple, or maybe you can just have children choose the colors that they want to mix and then ask them before they mix it, what color do you think is going to turn into? and then have them combine it and then have them describe the color that they get. Another fun and practical everyday activity is cooking. So with cooking, it's very common to combine dry and wet ingredients. So you can give the children the dry ingredients and ask them what will happen when you add the milk or the water or whatever other wet ingredients you have and then have them mix it and then they can describe the change in the texture of the ingredients once they are combined. The third foundation is the motion of objects and how actions can affect these motions. So through this, children can describe the motion of objects in terms of um, speed or direction, and also explore the effect of their actions on these objects, such as by pushing the object or pulling it, rolling, or another way to make the objects move. An example of this can be found in the playground. Maybe the child likes to play on a tricycle and he realizes that he can control the speed and direction of the tricycle, the object that he's on. And so by pushing harder, he can go faster and he can also change directions by turning the handle. A couple of fields that fall under the strand of physical science are chemistry and physics. The activity that I'm about to show you falls under chemistry. So for this activity, you'll need a plastic bag, about a gallon size, and then fill it halfway with water and some really sharp pencils. Okay, so my question to you is, what do you think will happen if I poke this pencil through the bag? Do you think it's gonna leak? Well, let's find out. Actually, let's find out over the cat. So if I stick it through, I stick it through the other side, Hmm, now cats hate water, right? So if it's leaking, he should be running away. I'm gonna put a second pencil through, in case you wonder, did that first pencil really go all the way through? And shall we try a third one? What do you think of all this, Thor? Is the water coming out? Nope. All right, so the reason why the, um, the bag doesn't leak is because the plastic bag is made of polymers which are long, flexible chains of molecule. So when you poke the pencil through, the molecules seal themselves around the pencil, creating a leak-proof bag. But keep in mind that when you do this, the pencil has to go all the way through. It just can't go halfway through, otherwise it will leak. 
So poke the pencil all the way through. You can let your kids do it or even some adults in your um, household or anyone else that you do this with. Give kids a chance to poke the pencils through. I would say that the child should be at least three and a half years old in order to be able to maneuver the pencil through the bag. So um, I hope that you have fun with this physical science activity.